I remember a very clear moment in my acting career when my casting started to change. I think I was maybe about 26 or 27. And up until that point, I mean, apart from a few more lines, um, my look hasn't really changed that much since being um, younger. I'm not saying like, oh, I haven't aged at all, because clearly I have. But what I mean is like, I didn't have like a pixie haircut before. I've always had long hair and this kind of face. Um, so I remember being about 26, 27. And up until that point, in terms of my casting breakdowns, I'd always been like quirky friend or silly receptionist or, um, you know, joker daughter who can't ever get it right. Like all of those things. And then I remember one day being seen for a Boots commercial and it was for a leading lady, like the face of a cosmetics, but it was like a real person. It wasn't like a modeling job. And suddenly they were looking at my skin. Suddenly they were like analyzing my teeth and how symmetrical my face was and, you know, taking much closer shots of my face that I hadn't done before. And I found it so interesting because suddenly there was this wave that redheads or gingers, as we were called back in the day. I hate that phrase. Thanks so much, everybody who uh, still says it. Um, anyway, um, there was a moment where somebody in an ad agency almost declared like, I know we've usually seen just brunettes and blonde people but I think we should maybe get the gingers in. And thank goodness those conversations have begun more and more and more to display all the different versions of beauty that this country, this world has on offer. Because goodness, how many times did so many of us look at adverts look at people on the tv and go I don't really see myself in in that scenario or the number of questions where it was like do you prefer brunettes or blondes and it's like well there are many other shades um in and amongst that but what I want to say is in that very long-winded story for me nothing changed in that moment I didn't suddenly like do anything differently. I didn't um I didn't suddenly get a brand new skill set. Something in the culture changed. And this is really important in terms of your personal brand and when you're pitching because you never know when your time is going to come. You never know where suddenly it's like your thing that you offer, your particular type of business, we need to talk about this immediately. So for example, I know um, so many businesses, um, my friend Natalie, for example, in COVID, when everybody was homeschooling, um, she was asked all the time, her business is Power Thoughts, by the way, her, um, her business was um, really exploding in lockdown because everybody was homeschooling and everybody was trying to figure out how to do this. And maybe before there might have been some people of like, do kids really have big feelings or are they just making a fuss? I mean, we know like what the true answer is here, don't we? Um, but it was only until people were in that circumstance that they were like, nah, come forward with your business. We need you right here, right now. So this is your reminder today that even if you don't see what you do in the culture, in the conversation, in what's being booked at the moment, um, maybe you are developing something new, maybe your combinations of skills, or maybe there's nobody like you out there. First and foremost, you might be one of the first, so get ready. And secondly, be ready anyway, because when it's your turn, you can go in 
and absolutely shake things up and create and open like the next doors. And that is a really brilliant, exciting place to be in. So um, if you want help with your public speaking, getting things ready, your online presence, go to the delivering section of my website or send me a message. Let me know what you need. Let me know what you're thinking about in terms of really taking your portfolio career, your personal brand out there. And I can help you in one of my strategy sessions or at Speak Up Live on the 1st of March. Lots of love. Bye.